Hello everyone, in this video let's talk about relational operators and logical operators. So first coming to relational operators. So this relational operator it checks the relationship between two operands. That means <clears throat> for example if you have two operands A and B. So it will check uh, whether A is less than B or A is greater than B, A is equal to B, A is not equal to B like this. Uh, it will check the relationship between two operands. Okay. So if the relation is true then it returns the value of 1. A boolean variable 1 is returned. If the relation is false, it returns the value of 0. Okay. So mainly this relational operators we will use for decision making. So what is meant by decision making? Decision making means deciding the order of execution of statements based on certain conditions. Okay. Suppose if the condition is true, these statements it has to execute. If the condition is false, some other statements it has to execute. Okay. So like that the decision making is used to make the, uh, the decision making is used to decide the order of execution of the program. Okay. And also in loop concept also we will use this relational operators. So looping means for, a, for a performing iteration of the statements, it, uh, we will use the loop concept in C language. So we have various loops like a for loop, while loop and do while loop. So there we will use these relational operators. Okay. So, so what are the various relational operators? So see here, these are the various list of relational operators. Equals to, not equal to, less than, greater than, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to. Okay. So these are the various relational operators in C language. Now let me show the execution of these relational operators with an example. So see here, this is the program using relational operators. So hash include stdao.h header file I have included. Next to coming to the main function, I have taken two variables a and b. a is assigned with the value of 5 and b is assigned with the value of 4. Here I have used all the relational operators greater than, greater than or equals to, less than, less than or equals to, equals to, not equals to. Okay. So all this I have included in the printf statement and I am just printing the values of a greater than b, a is greater than or equals to b, a is less than b, a is less than or equals to b. So I am going to check for all these conditions. If the condition is true, okay, it returns the value of 1. If the condition is false, it returns the value of 0. Okay. So this is my program using relational operators. So let me execute the program. So see here, so this is my output. So first initially, first coming to printf statement, a is greater than b equal to percentage d. So this I have taken within the string. Okay. So what happens automatically the string will be displayed as it is. A is greater than b. Okay. That value will be displayed. A is greater than b. See here. Percentage d means here as a and b are integer variables, percentage d is the format specifier for integer variable and a greater than b. Here a is 5 and b is 4. Is 5 greater than 4? Condition is true. If the condition is true, then what happens? It returns a value of 1. So equals to 1. As the condition is true, it returns the value of 1 in the output. Okay. Next, similarly, a is greater than or equal to b. It is checking for this condition. As this condition is true, 5 is greater than or equal to 4, it returns the value of 1. Okay. A is less than B. Is 5 less than 4? Condition is false. So it has to return the value of 0. Okay. So I got 0 in the output. A is less than B equals to 0. Next, A is less than or equal to B. So here also 5 is less than or equal to 4. Condition is false. So it has to return value of 0. Okay. Next, next a equals to b. Is a equal to b? 5 is not equal to 4, right? So again, it returns the value of 0. Next, a is less than or equal to b. So is 5, sorry, a not equals to b. Is 5 uh, equals to 4 or not equals to 4? It is not equal to 4. Condition is true, right? So it returns the value of 1. So like this, if the condition is true, it returns 1. If the condition is false, it returns 0. Okay. So like this, we have to use the relational operators. Mainly these are used in decision making and in loop concept, we will use this relational operator. Now let's talk about logical operators. 
So, logical operators are used to perform logical operations on the given expression. So, mainly these logical operators are used to check for multiple conditions. Okay. So, here we have three different types of logical operators that is logical and logical or and logical not. Okay. So, mainly these logical operators are commonly used in decision making. Okay. So, coming to logical and. So, logical and means it returns a true only if all the operands are true. That means, see the example. Here I have taken A value 5 and B value 3. Okay. And I am checking for this condition as I already did told. If you want to check for multiple conditions. So, here I am checking for multiple conditions. These two are multiple conditions, right? A, whether A is equal to 5, that is one condition and is B greater than 5, that is another condition. Okay. So, here as I am using logical and, okay. Logical and means nothing but two ampersand symbols. Okay. So, in, in logical and if both conditions are true, then only it returns the value of true. Otherwise, it returns the value of false. That means 0. False means 0. True means 1. Right? So, see here in this example, a equals to 5. Here as a, a value is 5, is 5 equals to 5? Yes, right. This condition is true. And b value is 3. Is 3 greater than 5? This condition is false. True and false is always false. Okay? Because this, if these both conditions are true, then only it is true. As I am using logical and there, if both conditions are true, then only it is true. So, here in my example, the first condition is true. Okay? The first condition is true. A equals to 5 is true. But B greater than 5, that is 3 greater than 5 is false. So, true and false means it is false. So, it is equal to, the result is equal to 0 in this case. Okay? So, in logical and the both conditions has to be true, then only it will return the value of true. If any one of the condition is false, it returns the value of 0, that is false. Okay? Next to coming to logical or. So, logical or means here, if any one of the condition is true, it returns a true. Okay? If both conditions are false, then only it returns false. That means, in logical, logical or it returns a true if either one operand is true. Okay. So, here in this example consider here A equals to 5. Okay. And B equal to 3. So, here in this expression if you if you observe see here I am using logical or logical or symbol. Okay. Is 5 equals to 5? Yes, true. Is a 3 greater than 5? False. True or false means it returns a true. Because if any one of the condition is true, it returns true. If this both conditions are false, then only it returns a false, that is 0. Here, my first condition is true, okay, that is A equals to 5 is true, but B greater than 5 is false. So, true or false means true. So, it uh, true means it is nothing but it, it returns a value of 1. So, the output in this, condi in this case is 1, okay. Next to coming to logical not. Logical not means nothing but not operator means not of false is true. Right? So, here I am taking a, a value of A is 5. Here I am checking for the condition. Okay? E is not equal to A equal to 5. That is 5 equal to 5. Condition is true. That is it returns 1, but not of, not of, uh, see here, A equals to 5, this is the condition, 5 equals to 5, true, okay, not of true means false, false means it has to return the value of 0, true means 1, false means 0, right, so not of true means false, false means the output will be 0. So, this uh, logical not is uh, true only if the operand is uh, false, that is 0. Okay? So, these are the various logical operators. Now, let me show an example program using these logical operators. So, this is my program using logical operators. So, here I have taken three variables A, B, C, okay, which are initialized with 
A is initialized with 2, B is initialized with 2 and C is initialized with 3 and another variable is result. Okay? This is just declared and it was not initialized with any value. Okay? So, here first coming to logical and. So, here I am checking for two conditions whether A is equal to B and C is greater than B. Okay? So, logical and means it returns a true only if both conditions are true. Otherwise, if any one of the condition is false or if both conditions are false, it returns a value of a 0. Okay? So, here check for this condition. Is 2 equals to 2? Yes. First condition is true. A equals to B is 2. True. Because 2 is equal to 2. And is a C greater than B? That is C value is a 3 and B is a 2. So, this condition is also true. Okay? So, as here I am using logical and both conditions are true, the result now stores the value of 1. Right? So, here by using printf statement, I am just printing the value of the result. Okay? So, for the first printf statement, it returns 1, uh, one right? The result stores the value of 1. Next coming to next one, result equals to, here I am checking for logical or. So, logical or means if any one of the condition is true, it will be true. Okay? If both conditions are false, then only the result will be 0, right? So, here is A equals to B? Yes, condition is true. Is a C greater than B? Yes, condition is true. Both are true. So, the result it stores a value of 1 in logical or also, right? Next coming to the third one, here A equals to B. Is 2 equals to 2? Yes. So, A equals to B is true. Not of true is false. That is a 0. So, now result holds the result variable holds the value of 0. So, here I am printing the value of result. So, in the first case, for logical and the result stores 1. Right? For logical or also the result stores 1. For logical not, the result stores 0. So, the output is 1, 1, 0. Okay? Now, let me show the output. So, see here 1, 1, 0. This is my output. So, like this, we have to write the code using logical operators. Okay? That's about the logical operators. Thank you.